So in today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to use Canva to create your t-shirt designs. It's an incredible tool. When I first started, I had to use a tool called Pixelmator. It was quite an amazing tool really, and I, I do miss it from time to time, but since then I, I've taught myself how to use Photoshop. But I still find myself going back into Canva because it is so simple to use. It makes it very, very quick to get designs created and then ultimately launched so we can be making money from them. I'm going to show you 10 tips, the, the tips that I use in every design that I do when I come into Canva. I do suggest getting the Canva Pro account and I will link to it in the description below. But the reason for this is it gives you access to the full library of vectors, which means you can then go and sell the products as well. Um, the designs on t-shirts and blankets and what other, whatever other products you're, you're selling online. So first up, we need to create our canvas or our artboard. Uh, it may not even be called that. I don't know what the, the experts call it, but we want a custom size. And the original one I used to always design to was Teespring. So we'll go 3000 pixels by 4500 pixels, which is the front of a t-shirt. But each platform that you sell on, they will tell you what the dimensions will need to be for their particular products. So keep that in mind before you actually come in here and create your art. Black is the most popular color choice for shirts. So that's what we're going to choose. I have done another design over here for a, a, uh, for a TikTok video earlier today. So I'm just going to recreate that for you. It's very simple. Um, the, the way I came up with this was by going into Spy Pro, which is a spy tool that shows you what products are selling now. Uh, and then you don't go in there to steal designs, you go in there to find inspiration and see what's working, the design style that's working, what niches are working. If there's something that just by doing that process, something pops out to you and you have an aha moment. I have them all the time just by doing that. So what, what the shirt was that was selling in there is I'm old school, I still believe in respect. And we are for this design going to apply that to truckers, which is another massive niche in the USA. And applying it to truckers, we're going to do, I'm old school. I still believe in respect, loyalty, and working hard. I'm a trucker. So we're hitting those, those real key points of the I, me, and my aspects of the shirt. It's speaking about the person. You can see it from 20 feet away. If you haven't seen my other video, four steps to creating seven figure t-shirt designs, I suggest you take a look at that. I explain the fundamentals of t-shirt design in there and design in general for print on demand. So let's get going. First up, instead of just going for these text over here, you can go to the, the text on the left there uh, and it gives you a, a few different examples of um, what you can use. But typically, I just click into the, the artboard here and press T and it straight up gives us what we're after. So I'm old school. So by hitting T, it brings up a text box. I still believe. So just getting the words out here first. And one way to really supercharge your design output is finding designs that you've seen that you like, that fit the fundamentals of t-shirt design, then just using it as an example going, that's how they've created, that there's a long word there, I'm gonna use a long word in the same spot. So it's, a, so it's just making, it's shortcutting that process of creating something new, because it can be frustrating to try and go, but I'm not creative, how do I do that? I know, what, I know how you feel. All right, so we've got our text there now. Let's get some cool fonts. So I'm using block fonts, big block fonts on a dark background. So let's go this one because it's, what is it, Anton. So you can size it up here. Effects and put your curve on it. Something that I took forever to learn how to do in Photoshop. We only want a little one. Has to pass the 20 feet test. If you want to select more than one element, click off screen and just drag it across all of them and then that'll highlight them all and then you can move them all together. I 
I just had a COVID test. I do not have it. But I'm a bit crook at the moment. Being stuck in this dark room, I am forever getting sick. My little daughter, she comes home, brings it from school. She'll have it for 12 hours and she'll hand it off to me for the next week. So frustrating. And because I'm locked in this room here, I find that I'm not getting enough sunlight. So I've just started the 75 hard program and part of that is reading 10 pages of a book each day. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea, black tea, in the sun of a morning after doing my exercise and have my cold shower, which I do not recommend. They are not fun at all. So if you find there's a, a layer in behind that you just can't get to, what you need to do is on Mac you hit Command, or if you're on Windows you hit Control, and hold that down where you go over the top of it and drag it up. It does get frustrating when you're trying to work with a specific layer and you just can't get to it. All right, so let's get some elements in here. And over here, when you're searching for your graphics, so I'm gonna put truck in here, you can do filters. So if you don't want to use a Canva Pro account, you can search for just free content. So that will bring up all the different ones that are for free. But because I want both free and pro, I am going to leave that filter off. We've just gone back into lockdown too, so you might hear the kids wandering around and coughing and playing outside. All right, what other truck elements can we put in here? Maybe a wrench. Command. So we're highlighting the right one. Duplicate him. You can either duplicate by highlighting it and then clicking the duplicate button up there, or you just go highlight it down here. Command C, Command V, drag it across. Then we want to flip it the other way. And we have a trucker design. So make sure we've got it all lined up. We go File, we want to show rulers. And we can drag your ruler out from the side here. We want to group elements. We highlight the ones we want in the group and then we go group. And that make, means whatever you click on it, it's going to move them all together. We'll group these ones, group. If you hold down shift, you can select more than one at a time too. So you can get all the elements you need in that specific group before you actually group it. That's starting to look good. Now to do minor adjustments, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So just using and each click will be one pixel. To do more than one pixel at a time, hold down shift and it'll move 10 pixels. Sometimes you just need minute adjustments down here. Just wanna get that right on that line. There we go. One last thing you can do is use this zoom feature down here and that'll help you really zoom in on specific areas, pull out the pieces you need. Canva is so simple. You don't, you can use the templates that they've got by all means, do it. But I do strongly encourage you, if you are doing print on demand for hyperscalability, this is the way you need to do your designs. High contrast, has to pass that 20 foot test. Needs to call out the niche that you're in. Has to be your I, me, and my, all the elements that sell these pieces. And the last thing before we download, we wanna make sure we're downloading with the transparent background. That is only available with the Canva Pro feature but I will show you one bonus tip. So we can download that like that, or I'll just download the JPEG to show you on to show you on Mac how we can remove it afterwards. So on Mac, we go to the markup toolbar. We want to grab that wand and select, and that will highlight all this the black space there. 
It will be tricky if you're using graphic elements like this with a little bit more detail in it. Once you highlight it, you can press delete. Or we'll just do that again because we're going to need to zoom in. Because as you can see, when you first do it, see how it's a bit hazy around the edges? But the longer you hold it and the further you push it, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter until we remove all that black background. Delete, convert to PNG. And then what we need to do is go through, and this is why it's important. Canva Pro is between 10 to $15 a month. And by the time you've done 10 designs and they've all got lots of words in them, it's going to take forever to go through each and go through each of these elements, each of these shapes, making sure that you're removing every bit of black that it's worth spending that little bit of extra to get the Canva Pro. I'm not sure about you, but I don't like working hard. I try to work as smart as possible, get the stuff done as fast as possible. So we can do the fun stuff. We can make all the monies, all the monies. There we go, too much. You get the idea.